Welcome back to another episode of Miyakashi. So, where we last left off. Oh boy. It went crazy, like... Shion took KG or whatever, I don't know. She made it... That story was confusing as hell. Like, Shion disguising as Mion, all that. She took KG to the torture room. And of course... Well, it's a lot of stuff. I think she somehow threw Mion into the world. Who knows? Other than that, let's move on to the last chapter. I could explain more, but I don't want this episode to move on long. June 1983. There has been a series of disappearances in Hinamizawa Village, Shishibone City, XX Prefecture. The suspect is Mion Sanazaki, something years old. Allegedly, she abducted five Hinamizawa, what the fuck, typo, residents, Oreo Sanazaki, Shion Sanazaki, Keiichiro Kimiyoshi, Riku Furu, and Satoko Hojo, and imprisoned from the, I can't even read it. Preliminary investigations on the incident were delayed at the time due to insufficient evidence, but by chance that the case was solved rather abruptly. On the morning of the 22nd, a vehicle patrolling the Sanazaki Oh, I can do this while pausing. But I don't want to. Emergency measure. They secured the suspect's missing younger sister, Shion Sanazaki, and her two missing classmates, Keiichi and Reina. The suspect fled this scene. Found hair, pieces of skin, and blood of the four missing people. Oreo Sanazaki, Kimiyoshi, Rika Fruit, and Satoko Hojo in the torture room that was discovered in the basement of the outbuilding and the Sanazaki family property. Supposedly, that's where they were killed. We concluded that the victims were tortured in that torture room. However, their remains have still not been found. According to one of her imprisoned classmates, advice. The bodies should be somewhere in the basement of the outbuilding where the torture took place. However, nothing has been uncovered as of yet, including the escape route the suspect took. In addition, investigations continue regarding any possible connection to the series of mysterious deaths in recent years. But no evidence that Mia Sanazaki was involved, either directly or indirectly, has been found. There are still many unclear points as to the motive behind the incident, and as those of the Sanazaki family and the residents of Hinamizawa have been extremely uncooperative in assisting us, we expect to require a long time to clarify them. The opinion of a local officer knowledgeable about the region is that this may have been a lynching, an internal form of punishing sacrilegious acts carried out against the beliefs of Hinamizawa village. It is clear that these incidents are particularly rooted in this region, and the Prefectural Police Department has ordered a cautious investigation. We anticipated gaining valuable clues from the missing person believed to have been imprisoned for the longest time, Shion Sanazaki, the suspect's younger sister. However, the incident has left such serious mental after effects that she has not been in the state of mind to properly answer any questions about what she knows. The psychiatrist concluded that she is in a temporary state of shock, but as of today, she has yet to show any improvement. Okay, let me scroll up a bit. Um, there has been a serious disappearance. Let's see. Five Hinamizawa Sawan in residence. I thought I said Hinamizawa. Oreo, Shion, Keich, Kimiyoshi, Riku Furu, Satoko Hojo, and President from June 19th through the 21st. Uh, preliminary investigations of the time were delayed at time due to insufficient evidence. Every chance the case was solved rather abruptly. The morning of 22nd, a vehicle patrolling the Sonazaki property 
heard screams from inside and rushed in an emergency measure. They secured the suspect's younger sister, Shion, and her two missing classmates. The suspect fled the scene. Body should be somewhere in the basement of the outbuilding where the torture took place. Expect to require a long time to clarify them. Can you have a local out? Oh, oh, okay, I already read that. Gaining valuable clues. There are some missing persons believed to have spurred a long time. Shion, the suspect's younger sister. She has not been able to, in a state of mind, probably answer any questions. A uh, psychiatrist included that she is in a temporary state of shock, but as of today, she has yet to show any improvement. Huh. All right. Let, anyway, I was acting at first. It was just an act to avoid being interrogated by the police. As it turns out, though, fake insanity can become real. You see, I couldn't bear it any longer. I continued to be haunted by the presence Reina Ryugu had talked about. It was so close that it could almost touch my back. It wasn't Satoshi-kun, and it wasn't a hallucination. It had become Shion's ghost. Shion didn't go to heaven, after all. She was always by my side instead. Shion didn't like the fact that I was still alive when she wasn't, so she had decided to haunt me until she witnessed my death. Every night she whispered to me, telling me to die. I get it. I get it. Huh. 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 I shouted at the Shion at my back. Through my mouth, she shouted back at me. It must look odd to other people. They think I was arguing with myself. It's not fair. Why are you still living, sis? Die, die, die already. You said you'd die right after you killed me. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. It's so dark and cold in this well. It's cold. It hurts. It hurts, it hurts. I get it, I get it. Shut up. What exactly do you get, sis? You don't. You won't die in the way you want to. You're just running away. You're trying to survive even after you did all those horrible things. You'll never be forgiven. You're cursed. You're cursed. You're destined to die. Shut up, Shion. You're just a ghost, so shut up. Shut up. Sis. Sis. You lousy shit. Fuck off. It's not fair. It's not fair. You and I should always be together. Even after death. So, Mion, I've come to take you with me. Mion. Bang, 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 bang. Shion banged on the door. Bam, 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 bam. Jesus. That noise is too loud. It's cracking my ears and my head open. Shion's trying to break in. Ah, shit. All right, Shion, I get it. The perfect way for me to die is to be cursed to death by you, isn't it? But I won't be going so easily. Huh. Huh. I won't simply disappear. It wouldn't be fair if your beloved was left alive after all. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ihiki. I went out. I went out onto the balcony to avoid Shion, who was on the other side of the door. If I jump over the railing to the neighboring apartment, I could reach the fire escape. Hehehe. Ha ha ha. Eat shit, Shion. I leaned over the railing and jumped to the balcony next door. Then I rushed down the stairs, noiseless as a cat. Shion was too stupid to realize that I escaped. <laughs> it wouldn't take too long to get to Keiichi's house on the motorcycle. Shion must believe that I'm still in that room. She's so stupid. <laughs> Was it really her twin sister banging on the door? Or was it one of these, uh, landlords? I have no freaking clue. Maybe it was one of these angry neighbors. It's a very weird theory going on for myself. Soon enough, I could see the Maibara mansion. I'd never seen it before, but I heard a great deal about it from Shion. <laughs> she told me that Keiji's room is on the second floor. I should wake him up. Throw a stone. 
I threw a couple of stones at the window, and shortly thereafter, the light turned on and the window opened. I saw Keiichi there. The moment I saw him, my madness cooled off for a while. Even from here, I could tell that Keiichi was running down the stairs. He showed up quickly, with a doll in his hand. I felt depressed to see it. It was the doll he failed to give to Shion. It isn't fair after all, Shion. I'm so jealous, Keichan. I want to receive a doll from Satoshi Kun too. Uh, uh, Mion. <laughs> it's been a while. How are you? How are you? Been doing all right? Despite the burning insanity within me, I spoke to him calmly. That's ah, true. My body is controlled by the demon now. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here this late. <laughs> are you all right? Hanging around this place? I really shouldn't be. <laughs> anyway, what's wrong? What do you need at this hour? I wanted to talk to you one last time. I feel horribly sleepy. Maybe it's more like fainting due to his due to loss of blood. <laughs> that sensation is proof that the insanity is swallowing me. Well, I... <laughs> I can't stay for any longer. Are you alright? Are you not feeling well? I tried so hard until now. <laughs> but I can tell I'm done. This is at my limit. They're about to come up behind me to take me away. <laughs> I won't get to decide how I die. Shion won't allow me to. No wonder. I dropped her down the well. It wasn't only her. None of the people I killed chose to die how they did. Considering that, debating how, I, debating how I'll die must seem a luxurious concern to the dead. Ha 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 I don't know how she laughs. Are you okay? Don't force yourself. Oh, that's right. I had something. I'll kill him, kill him, kill him. I'll avenge Satoshi Kun's death. I'll avenge his death. This guy is Shion's beloved. I hate her. I'll kill him and teach her a lesson. Eat this, she girl. While gravity's pull spun around me, I realized that I had stabbed him with the knife. <laughs> I made it. I made it in time. <laughs> and so on. <laughs> I made it. I made it. I made it before Shion killed me. I got back at her. <laughs> Take that, Shion. <laughs> Keiichi rolled on the ground, clutching his stomach. <laughs> I've done it, I've done it all. That's everyone. I wanted to kill. <laughs> yeah, I did it. Yeah, I did it. <laughs> I avenged your death, Satoshi Kun. <laughs> Don't you love me for it? Will you stroke my head? <laughs> oh my lord. Yes, this was all a bad dream. After all, I was just in my room like always, suffering from nightmares of Shion. But, where was I now? I had been standing on my apartment's fire escape, alone. I could still recall that dream. Yes, I had stepped out onto the veranda. Veranda. My front door was still locked up, so I had to climb through the ver veranda again. Huh. Hmm. Whoa. My foot had slipped, and then I felt a floating sensation. After that, a sharp, indescribable pain ran through my head. 
That incredible pain finally cleared the fog away from my nightmare. I just slipped from the fire escape as I tried to return to my balcony, and fell onto the roof, jutting out from the elevator hall two or three floors down. My room is on the eighth floor. I wasn't expecting to be caught up here. When I fell, my head landed right on the concrete corner, and I could feel both enormous pain and the warm blood dripping out. I felt strangely calm. I couldn't sense the demon, Xian's ghost, or my grudge. I felt just like a baby. The nothingness brought me peace. All my memories from when I was born and named Mion up until today came to my mind. I recall the memories of the time I'd spent with Satoshi-kun. Tears rolled down my cheeks. Where did I go wrong? When in my life, when in my life did I make the wrong choice? Ah, I do know just where and when that was, because Satoshi-kun reminded me. I'll leave Satoko to you. Sure, I believe you'll return. I'll be waiting for you. I'll take care of Satoko. I'll wait for you with her. We'll be good girls. You left your precious sister to me and nobody else. I guess I didn't get the significance of what you'd said. But I'll be fine this time. I love you, Satoshi-kun. Satoko, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everybody. Shion, I'm really sorry. Could I repay everything with my death? No way, right? That's not how it should be done. I wanted Satoshi-kun to stroke my head one more time. I wanted to hear him mumble one more time. I knew it was too much to ask, and so I had no other regrets. That brought an end to my apologies. I rolled over, sending myself, falling to the ground, head first. I hoped my head would crack open to take me to the hell I deserved. I was just a demon. I belonged in hell. Why was I born? Why did this world give birth to me? I shouldn't have been born. I wouldn't have had to suffer if I hadn't been. What was the meaning of my meaningless life? If I wasn't born, nobody would have had to suffer. Thank you for treating me kindly, even though I was like this. Thank you for teaching me love, even though I was like this. Even though I was like this. Even though... I'm really sorry, everybody. I really am. I'm sorry. If Satoshi-kun could, could give me another chance, I wouldn't make the same mistake again. Never again. Ah, uh, here comes the ground. Bye. I love you. Mmm. Eh? Ooh, and then it's, then it's splattered. I wished so many times that everything was a dream, so I wrote it down, hoping for it to become true. Dreams in cartoons are often like this. There's a huge sack of sweets. I can't possibly eat them all. I try to reach for them, but then somebody wakes me up. This dream has been a tremendously long one. I must have been sleeping f for more than a year. Ah, that's right. I ran away from baseball practice. I stepped onto the street when the light was red and got hit by a motorcycle. I've been in a coma since then, but I finally woke up. When I open my eyes, I see a hospital ceiling, and Satoshi-kun looks at me from the bedside. <laughs> That's a bit too perfect, but it's okay, right? It's okay for it to end that way, right? I'm sorry that I was born. Oh, man. Xion did some... Xion disguising as Mian did some fucked up things. And then later on, she dies. Still feeling her regrets. What's going on here? Alright, it's lunchtime. Hey, Reyna, put our desk together. What is this? <laughs> My lunch has meatballs today. 
Sounds good. This old man will have some then. Rika-chan, bring your desk over. I'm coming. Whoosh. Oh ho ho. Unfortunately, meatballs are my favorite too. I won't allow you to have any. Oh my god, there's Shion. <laughs> Out of all places. Unfortunately, I won't let you do that either, Satoko. You have to come you have to have some veggies. So I cooked some squash for you. Whoa, that's harsh, Shion. Wah, I hate squash. Wah. Don't be so picky about your food. Squash is very nutritious. You're still growing, so you need to think about things like that. As long as I live, I won't let you have an unbalanced diet. Here guys, have some. Steamed squash is delicious. Munch, munch. Satoko, it's really sweet. Yeah, it's super good. The balance of flavors is perfect. Satoko, don't eat this. It's too good for you. I excuse me? I don't like your tone. She acts like an adult. Just try one. Take a bite. See? Isn't it good? Hmm. Well, it isn't so bad. Of course it isn't. I've been working hard every day to get you to overcome your dislike of squash. Okay, now that's now that that's done with, why don't you overcome your fear of eggplants, green peppers, and asparagus within the year? <laughs> green peppers are good. Eggplants are okay, and asparagus is pretty. It's pretty all right when you it's all boiled in hot water and steamed. Stop joking. At this rate, I'll transfer to a school in, in, in a Okonomiya. Come on. I'm in charge of your health. Since Satoshi-kun asked me to take care of you, I won't let you eat junk food either. Why? I hate you, shion -san. I hate squash. Oh, man. You know... My theory here, what if Shion is actually babysitting um, Satoko? I'm, this is very questionable right now. This Is this some kind of bonus scene I'm reading through? I hate squash. What the fuck? This is weird. Higurashi when they cry. And that's the end? Well, shit. Why does the crashes sound like gunshots to me? Uh, you have received new tips, a happy diary, and disowned. Oh shit, well, no, I guess that's the end of that last chapter. It was a short one. Compared to the previous ones I've read. Alright, so let's look at Omaki. Uh, no, not staff room. We're gonna go to View Tips. And then click through here. A Happy Diary. Let's read that. Yes, when Mr. Kasai broke in, the room was empty, and the window leading to the balcony was open. That was when she fell. She hit the elevator house housing right beneath, which gave her a concussion. Then she rolled off the roof and hit the ground, killing her. The reason Mr. Kasai didn't find her, even though he suspected her suicide, is that she was on the elevator housing at that time, unconscious. So, she hit, oh god, she hit the elevator housing and she got, suffered a concussion, rolled off the roof, and died. That's pretty bad. 
at that time unconscious. Keiji Marbara was stabbed about the same time. Was Shion Sanazaki unconscious on the roof then? I doubt it. She must have stuck out of the building, stabbed Keiji, then accidentally fell when she came back. Doesn't that sound right? Ah, would you look at the neighboring balcony again? Oishi-san, you've got a call on line three. Oh, who is it from? Soto, apparently. He says the password is Ron. <laughs> Hello, ah, Soto-san, you must have some good news. Hello, you were right after all. Thank you. I'll buy you a drink on Flower Road. What was that call about? A mahjong, a mahjong invitation? Bingo. The Sanazaki sisters switched places. Mion is Shion and Shion is Mion. They made a mistake when they were supposed to tattoo the successor. So Mion and Shion are swapped around in this notebook. So then Satoshi-kun and Shion-san no, Mion-san? This is confusing. Anyway, with that, you gain a clearer understanding of their relationship. Are you talking about the mysterious notebook you received the other day? Didn't you say it was all mumble-jumble that could possibly confuse the case? Even after switching the names, it's still confusing. I don't know how much of the content I can trust. Even if this is true, Rika Farid's death seems very suspicious. It's the diary of a lunatic. It drove me nuts when I read it. You know this line on the last page about how she's sorry for being born? That makes me want to jump out the window. Even so, this is a happy diary. A happy diary? Do you know how many times Satoshi-kun's name appears in this notebook? Shion-san really loved him, but because she was so young, a few mistakes caused that love to be misdirected. Misdirected, huh? Is that so? Wait, how was that a happy diary? That's my question. This is a 200 page diary. And then the last page says that she wished she's never born. Okay, let's look at the last tip. Disowned. Hey mom, tell me. Why did you have a fight with the hag? It was bad enough that she disowned you, right? You're so nosy about everything. Well, I guess you're old enough to know. She objected when I told her I wanted to marry your father. Eh, what? I was living a very unseemly life back then. Then the man I brought home was a Yakuza. So of course she got ter terribly upset. She said the head of the family will choose your fiancé. And I said, screw your decisions, you fucking virago. So then we both tried to cut each other down on the spot. We unsheathed our katanas in the living room and clashed and slashed and diced. <laughs> Eek! You fought that hag with a sword? Way to go, Mom. Well, I was into martial arts when I was young. Both she and I held high ranks in kendo, so yes, it was quite the show. Everybody, everyone nearby was terrified. Ah, that was fun. I see. So is that why you were disowned? That's right. I was happy for it. I married your father right away. Well, I was forced to remove my fingernails in atonement, though. See how the fingernails on my left hand look ugly? Wow. So that's why you and the hag have a bad relationship, huh? So, okay, she, she said hag. So, for I remember, she, that's Shion talking to her mother. I... <laughs> you know what, Shion? That's not actually true. Our relationship is actually pretty good. What? That can't be right. She has to maintain the family's reputation, so she can't treat me normally. And accordingly, I lay low at the family councils. But I visit her every now and then, and we have tea together. I can't believe it. This is just between you and me, okay? She removed her fingernails in atonement a long time ago herself. Look carefully at her hand the next time you see her. What? What did she do? Beats me. I don't have a clue. Hey, you do so have one. It's all over your face. Tell me. 
And achievement unlocked. Nice. And you know what? Shion's mom is one hot milf right there. Holy shit. <laughs> Alright, so. That was the end of Miyakashi. But, but, we got a little uh, bonus um, episode coming up soon. So, next part, we're going to... So, the last part coming up, we're going to read the staff room thing. Or after party, or whatever it is called. So, like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you later.